Hey guys, so in this video, if you can tell by the title, I'm going to be dyeing my hair at home. And this may be a how to dye your hair at home tutorial. If it goes wrong, how not to dye your hair at home. This is a fail, okay? I've got quite a few greys, you know, this is this is not my usual glitz and glam that you're used to seeing me in. And I don't mind, I don't mind guys, this is for you. I've got quite a few greys, I'm gonna show you. Can you see the greys? I believe it started over the pandemic time. I was, I was embracing it at first, but I'm like, it's not the look that I'm going for right now. I will embrace it later on in life, God willing. However, right now I wanna experiment, I wanna have some fun. So my question is, am I going to be able to put hair dye on top of hair grease? The dye I was originally going to use was this color. So this color is permanent and it is, I forget the name, it says dark red brown. And as you may be able to see there guys, it is 100% coverage for greys, right? So I was like, perfect, love the color, it's cute. However, since I'm dying my hair, let's do some more, eh? So I'm gonna be doing some ombre on the ends. I have done ombre in the past and I have done the tutorial on how to do it. And I love the way it turned out. I've got pictures of how my hair turned out. However, I have had some disasters. I am going to be showing you today, fingers crossed, how to cover your greys and ombre your ends. I think, you know, my hair's got long enough. It's a bit boring now. I want to do something, something different because I do feel that, guys, I'm just warning you from now, I may be doing a pixie cut. Yes, I'm going to be showing you how to colour hair at home. Anyway, guys, if you want to see how I do this, just carry on watching. Okay, guys, so I have a few things to say before I start. And yes, I look slightly different today because yesterday I filmed some of the video. I didn't start coloring my hair, I was going to, but I was tired, but that's besides the point. So I'm here today. I've got my gloves on. Ideally, I would prefer a mixing bowl with the brush to apply the hair dye. However, they come in these applicator bottles. So I'll just be applying them like so, and then smoothing them down with my hand. I haven't really got anything professional other than these uh, foils that I cut out like a nerd, and that's most probably <laughs> me being semi-professional, and that's the most professional I'm going to get. I have the belief that this is gonna turn out great. I hope so. Anyway, so as I said, guys, I want to see if the hair dye will take on top of the hair grease that I have in my hair, and I currently have this hair grease on my hair that's the kokata hair grease and i have had quite a few requests to do a review on that so i will be i promise i will try <laughs> i promise i will try i know there's a whole contradiction there get it done in the next video however today i am dyeing my hair so without further ado i will stop talking and just carry on watching Thank you. 
well so going back to my question what do you think guys does it look like i can put hair dye on top of hair grease no <laughs> <laughs> The brown red one took quite nicely. As you can see, I've got red on my scalp. Let me see if you can see that. I've got, yeah, you can see the tints of red. I don't know if it's picking it up on camera, but I can see the red. And I can see where my gray was because some parts of the hair are lighter. I did miss some grays though, but I'm not too fast. So the ends now, guys. The ends are ever so slightly brown. Obviously they were meant to be blonde. Did I have any expectations that they would lift really light? no for two reasons because the grease creates a barrier which i know i was just trying my luck <laughs> okay i was as i was saying though however the hair dye the darker one that was to cover the grays took to my hair quite nicely but the blonde not so much two reasons as i said i had the hair grease on it because i seal my ends with hair grease and secondly this was a slightly darker shade than what I'm used to getting. So this was 25 volume, I believe. My hair's quite dark, so obviously I know I'm gonna need higher volume to lift my hair. Am I gonna dye it again? No, no. We'll just stick to what we have, you know. I like, I like to have the hair on my head. I'm gonna see if you can see what I can see. I don't know if it's gonna pick it up on camera. Let me just comb it out so it's even. But you can see the ends. They're ever so slightly brown. Not necessarily what I was looking for, but at least it's not ginger. Didn't want ginger this time. <laughs> to my question, no, I don't think it's the best idea to put hair dye on top of hair grease. If you do have a hair grease routine like myself, I would suggest maybe on that wash day, instead of putting hair grease in your hair, maybe use a cream leave-in and if your wash day is in the next week on that wash day dye your hair if that makes sense i had somebody ask me in my comments if i use this dax this is the one i use for straightening and if i use it for blowing out my hair yes that's what i use today it's the best heat protectant i can use for my hair so guys sorry i didn't get back to you in the comments um i'm answering your question now i'm sorry i have got dedicated time to write back to you guys anyway guys that is it for today happy new year and i'll see you in the new year don't forget to like comment and subscribe but happy new year <laughs> bye guys